Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brian from USA.Patriot.Cards, and today I'm going to share a little bit of a trick, help you guys avoid some eBay fees, help you guys get plugged into the online community, and help making your uh, trades and potential buys and sells online a little bit easier. How to find those trade partners to trade into those huge PC cards and to move those bulk items like I've been able to do. But first, I wanted to share this this is a marvel upper deck sketch card of captain america done by a friend of mine gary Cazelli. as you can see behind me i've got got a good a, amount of sketch cards i am a uh, a big time sports card collector but i also love the non-sports stuff and i love sketch cards this comes out of the upper deck annual marvel series uh this one's from 2019 2020 and this is a monster hit out of a pack, out of a box. Um, this would be akin to like a Juan Soto first Bowman auto or a Julio Rodriguez. Um, it's just the art that is on this card is unparalleled. Gary's one of the top artists in the game. I wanted to share this with you just because I think it's fun to at least have a little card in every video, even if the uh, video is not specifically about um, cards, although this video is about cards, but I just want to share a card with you um, to make it a little more spicy. But uh, let's get into this. Let me share my screen here. Um, what I want to talk about today is Instagram. I'm going to go to my Instagram page. And I'm going to show you what it looks like now. If you, oh, okay. you try again? sorry about that. Just uh, getting messages from a friend of mine, Wes, uh, high grade hits. Wes just acquired a uh, Patrick Mahomes contenders BGS nine auto. So he's pretty stoked. If you hear my watch beeping and um, my computer dinging, that is who is doing that. Uh, let's talk about Instagram. Matter of fact, he pulled that trade off uh, using uh, his uh, Instagram or Facebook. They kind of are all one and the same when it comes to cards. If you are on Instagram and you're not following me already, please drop me a follow and I'll follow you back. Uh, here's my page. You can see it's just full of some fun cards. Got some sketches, got some burrows. Um, but uh, this is a great way to house all your cards so that if you do find yourself uh, interacting with someone online about trading, let's say you find a card you want. Let's say you're, you're after that contenders Mahomes uh, and the guy's like, well, and you say, can you do half trade, half cash? And he's like, well, it depends on what you got. Well, instead of going to your case and pulling out all your cards and taking pictures, right, and sending one by one, uh, you can just direct them to your Instagram and there you have all your cards that might or might not be available. And let's say you move a card, let's say you move this Pat Mahomes camo, for instance, I can go in and I can gray this picture out. I can make it black and white. And that way the potential trade partner or potential buyer would know that that card's not available. Uh, I don't do that. Um, that's kind of next level. Uh, it's a great idea. I've seen a couple guys do it that do a lot, to, uh, do a lot of uh, trading and, and buying and selling. Um, so a lot of these cards, like I don't, I don't have this uh, Bregman anymore. I don't have this White Sparkle uh, Tatum. I don't have any of these Celtics. Well, I had the Marcus Smart. I don't have this Tools of the Trade anymore. Uh, let's see what else. I don't have either one of these two cards. Just traded those. I just sold this CD Lamb. Uh, so. I wish I had this Soto still, but it's gone. So there are ways to uh, mitigate, you know, having to answer. Do you have this? No. Do you have this? No. Just black them out. Just just uh, make them uh, black and white, gray, gray scale. Them. But um, you, you want to name your Instagram something that is, uh, you can use your name or you can come up with a little handle like I did, but something that will translate over to your eBay page. Um, and even if you don't have an eBay, um, as you grow in this thing, you're going to you're going to realize that you that you are going to um, want to turn over some of these cards that you've acquired just to keep things interesting. So 
at some point you probably will have an eBay page. Now we could talk about eBay and the pitfalls of why people don't get onto eBay and all the, you know, the nightmare scenarios that you might hear of and all the reasons why you, you haven't created an eBay page yet. Um, that's just part of the evolution of a collector is uh, being afraid of eBay and then ultimately adopting eBay as a, as a way to buy and sell cards. But one thing that eBay um, has going against it is the humongous fees. I think they're um, roughly 15%. Uh, if you're selling a card on eBay for $100, you're only going to net 85. And as a buyer, if you purchase a card on eBay, uh, you're going to be hit with sales tax for your state. And in my case, it's Texas and it's eight and a quarter. So I'd be paying $100. Eight dollars and twenty-five cents. So, um, if you're if you're going after a bigger card, if you're selling a bigger card, those fees can get really big, really fast. So, uh, there's no denying that eBay is the the, the biggest um, auction or the biggest platform uh, to showcase your cards. The entire world can see them, so it does have its purpose. But if you are trying to avoid those nasty eBay fees, what you can do is Name your eBay page the same name as your Instagram page. As you can see here, my eBay is usa.patriot.cars2. I also have, well, let's just do this. Um, if I sign out of this, um, the reason it's a two is because my other eBay page is everybody turn away other ebay page is ig.usa.patriot.cards um, and the reason i put ig in front of it is because hopefully that'll let somebody know out there that hey my instagram is <laughs> as follows usa.patriot.cards um, so that's a good way to take somebody off of eBay, start a dialogue on Instagram, and then use PayPal uh, goods and services. And essentially, you have the same protections as a buyer or a seller that eBay would give you. Another trick you can do, let's say, um, like for, the, for this um, listing here, this, this Romo and Dez game use patches, down here... You can see I put findusa.patriot.cards on Instagram. This is an older listing. I, I don't, I used to write up big things about the cards. Now I just put follow usa.patriot.cards on Instagram. Um, but that will tell people, hey, I'm over here on Instagram. Come find me and then message me and then we'll get some stuff done. And I can give you a better price as a seller. Uh, you can ask for a better price as a buyer, and then things are a little easier and a little cheaper um, in the way of acquiring cards. Um, so that's all I have for you. Let me know if there's any other questions you might have or any tips or tricks that you might need to get your Instagram account up and running. I have 1,359 followers. It's taken me three years to get there. Uh, some some people um, do a little uh, more activity on their Instagram page than I do, and they can grow a little faster. But you know, if let's say I would I had a card that I wanted to sell, uh, I could throw it up here on my Instagram um, page, and then I'd have 1,359 potential buyers, uh, and I wouldn't even have to break the eBay rules and uh, take them off of the platform. They would already be here because they're my followers. So just some uh, ways to uh, save a little money in this thing and to grow your collection, grow your online presence and have fun doing it. Can't tell you how many people I've met, how many friendships and connections I've built just through Instagram or Facebook. Um, and yeah, real life in real life friends have translated from from my social media card accounts. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Till then.